Hi guys, so this right here is the PS5 Slim 1 terabyte. So I've always personally loved the Slim versions over the OG. The OG model is just too chunky and big for me, and I feel like practically it wouldn't fit in my normal in my normal desk area because this is the setup I have right here. This is, I don't remember the exact amount, but this is a couple inches shorter and a couple inches thinner as well. And they have these LED lights that come through the front opposed to the original model where the lights were up on the sides right here. And um, this console actually has two USB-C ports at the front opposed to the one USB-A and the one USB-C. So this model actually has two USB-Cs at the front instead, which I personally think is better because I have more USB-C controllers and, you know, things such and such. And it also still has a USB-A, but it's just in the back of the console instead. And um, this looks slightly different because I actually painted one side, so that's why one side is black, one side is white. So it won't come, it'll come fully white. But I just painted one side of this, so that's why it looks slightly different. And also this vertical stand at the bottom does not come with it. I purchased that separately. It's the vertical stand. It does come with a horizontal stand and it comes with these little prongs right here. This is what it comes with. I personally wanted to stand it up vertically because I felt like horizontally it was going to take up way too much space, but this is what comes inside the box. These little two plastic little stands. So that's what it comes with, but like I said, for my normal usage, the vertical stand just made more sense to me. And actually this thing can stand without the stands. I got it just to feel better about the airflow because there's slightly a little space at the bottom where it kind of hovers with the vertical stand. I bought it just so I wouldn't be stressing about like airflow, not falling over or anything like that. But if you totally didn't want to buy the vertical stands, you theoretically didn't have to because it can stand without one. And um, this also comes with one terabyte of storage and it comes up with about 838 usable gigabytes of storage which is more than the OG, which you could only use about like 600 and something gigabytes. So you get pretty much 200 additional gigabytes of storage to use. And I put, you can still install an SSD. I installed an SSD in this one, uh, a two terabyte SSD. So I have more storage, but it's the same as the OG. You still can install it. You can just pop this plate off right here. And this actually also has four plates instead of the two, like the OG. It says one, two, three, four and the ssd is under the right top plate so you can just pop this bad boy off and then you'll see the ssd slot under there i'd totally recommend this